In this video, we're going to take a look at the last set of set tools available to us inside of the drawing environment for Inventor. So I'm going to go up here to my annotate tab again, and we've already looked at baseline, we've looked at ordinate in other videos, but now we're going to look at chain. We have chain and chain set, a set tool here that works very similar to the ordinate set or the baseline set, but chain in general is kind of an oddball, if you will. It doesn't really lend itself too well to every manufacturing or layout scenario. It deals with something called tolerant stack up. If I come in here and start selecting items to dimension for the chain command, I'm going to right click and say continue and go ahead and place these in. Due to the nature of chain, it'll go from your first reference to your second, your second to your third, your third to your fourth, so on and so forth. If I had an overall tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.01, then on the high side, this could be 0.64. And then I can keep adding to that tolerance stack up as I continue going right. Compared to a baseline dimensioning style, where we continuously use a left side or right side datum reference here, so that my tolerances don't build up upon each other. This part here has a much higher capability being dimensioned this way to get out of whack and basically fail with the alignment that I'm trying to set up with these holes. Now that doesn't mean the chain is a worthless command. But if you're doing center to center locations for studs, for pillars, for columns, things that don't really have a tolerant stack up that needs to be worried about. So like how things are laid out in assembly, you might use chain a little bit more often for that. Inside of a part mode, you know, not so much. It's not really that great of a tool inside of a part mode. With that being said, I'll show the chain set here. And again, this operates the same way. You can just pick your items here you want to place. Right click and continue, drop them in. Right click and create to finish the tool. And now they work together as a set, so I can change the dimensions on one of them, and they all update for their precisions. Let me change this to one place precision. You can see they all update as a set now. If I want to get rid of them, I can click on it and also delete the set. So that's been a look at chain dimensioning inside of Autodesk Inventor.